After you take the phone out of the box, connect the handset cord to the jack on the bottom of the phone. Connect the other end of the cord to the handset. The phone can be wall mounted or you can attach the base so that it can sit on a flat surface such as a table, desk, or counter. I'll demonstrate how to put the phone together with the telephone base. Put the line cord and power cord through the telephone base stand. Plug the line cord into the jack on the bottom of the phone, then plug the power cord into the power jack. The telephone base has four tabs that fit into the bottom of the telephone. Then push and slide the base to secure it. Plug the other end of the line cord into the analog telephone jack and plug the power adapter into an AC outlet. One last thing on the bottom of the phone. You can adjust the ringer volume from off, low, or high volume by adjusting the three position slide switch. Your phone comes with a number card and a memory key card along with two plastic covers. Fill in the necessary information on the number card. Put it into the number slot and cover it with the protective plastic sheet. Do the same with the memory key card. To place a call, lift the handset, then if necessary, dial the access code, such as an 8 or 9, and then dial your number. If there's no access code, then simply dial the number. And if set up, you can also dial an extension number. Your phone comes equipped with a hands-free speaker. Press the hands-free speaker button, and then dial the number. You can also dial the number, then hit the dial button to make a call. With an active call, you can press the hold button to place the call and hold. Hit the hold button again to retrieve the call. The goodbye key is used to end an active call. It will also exit an open list, such as the directory, options, or callers list. It will not hang up on a call that is on hold. The red indicator light flashes when the telephone rings. If you subscribe to voice messaging service with voltage message waiting, it will also flash when you have a voice message. Your phone comes with pre-programmed buttons or keys. The callers button accesses a list of the last 80 calls received. The flash button can be used to answer call waiting if you have subscribed to call waiting. It can also be used in three-way calling. To answer a call waiting, when you hear the call waiting tone, press flash to place the original call on hold and answer the new call. To return to the original call, press flash again. For making a three-way call, first make a call. When the first person answers, Press the flash button. That call is put on hold and you will hear dial tone. Make a second call. When the second call is answered, press the flash button again to link the calls together. Press the redial key to redial the last telephone number that was dialed. The hands free and mute button does two functions. It activates the speaker and microphone so you can listen and talk without using the handset. It is also used to mute the microphone so that your caller cannot hear you. The light indicator will flash when the microphone is muted. Press the mute button again to unmute the microphone. The volume control sets the handset and speaker volume while you are on a call. The option button accesses a list of eight options to customize the features on your telephone. To access these options, press the options button. Then use the navigation keys to cycle through the eight options. To modify an option, press the Save button and then use the navigation keys to select your choice. Press the Save button again to save that option. The Directory button is used to store up to 20 names and phone numbers. The Save button is used to store names and numbers in the directory, in memory keys, and to access and save option feature settings. The Delete button removes entries in the directory, callers list, or redial list. It also erases memory key information. The shift button is used to access the eight two-touch memory positions. And the memory keys are used to store numbers, names, and features. To program a number in a memory key, press the memory key, then press the save button. Enter the phone number, press the save button, Use the keypad to enter a name and press the save button again to save the name and number. To program a name and number in the second position, press the shift button, then press the memory button, press the save button, enter the number, press the save button, enter the name,
Press the Save button. To access the first number on the memory button, simply press the button. To access the second position, press the Shift, then press the memory key. This concludes this tutorial on the Astra 9116 LP analog phone.